红酒世界越懂越喜欢，很高兴又在这里跟大家见面了。我是红酒世界的高级编辑罗彤。那么这一期呢，我们非常荣幸的邀请到了来自著名的意大利酿酒世家花丝蝶家族的掌门人兰贝托·花丝蝶先生。那么花丝蝶家族呢，已经在意大利的托斯卡纳地区生活了上千年的时间，但是酿造优质葡萄酒的历史呢，就已经有数百年。如今啊，花丝蝶集团在意大利拥有超过十家以上的世界级的酒庄。Welcome to our program, and、uh, please introduce yourself to the audience. Great pleasure to be here with all of you. My name is Lamberto Frescobaldi, and I am a, an Italian producer that lives in Italy, Tuscany, and precisely in the town of Florence, where my family has been living there since the 1100s. And、uh, producing wine since now the 1300. So precisely, I'm 30th generation、uh, that my family has been producing wine. Now I'm the president of the company Frescobaldi.、Uh, I'm happily married. I have three kids,、mm -hmm. and、uh, and a lot of、uh, of nephews and.、Uh, And the family is quite large,、mm -hmm. so it's a nice、uh, family company. As、uh, as I said before, the family Frescobaldi arrives in Florence in the 1100.、Mm -hmm. So it's a family that has a lot of history,、yeah. a, a history of、uh, being traders,、mm -hmm. being bankers, and also being wine producers. Quite unique is、mm -hmm. that we have in in our family a document archive. Of uh, uh, that they go back to the to the 1100、mm -hmm. when were, we bought the house where we actually also now in the same location live.、Uh, Florence <coughs> is a city that is cut in two by a river, and the Frescobaldi bought the land. Uh, as we say in Florence, from the other side of the river, so from the opposite from where is the、uh, cathedral.、Uh, an ancestor of mine,、uh, mm -hmm. named like me, Lamberto, in、uh, the year 1252,、mm -hmm. so in the 1252, he built the bridge、uh, over the river Florence, and、mm -hmm. so there is、uh, the square that looks the, the bridge is also now called Piazza Frescobaldi, the square. Frescobaldi and all my family has always lived around there. Okay. Let me talk to you about our、uh, about what is our passion and our main job that is making wine. Yeah. We make wine in 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 Tuscany, but also in north of Italy, where we have a smaller white wine estate called Attems,、mm -hmm. and where we focalize there in in white wines. But the rest of Of Frescobaldi is in Tuscany. Okay. Then the states in, in Tuscany, they are、uh, some they are historical.、Mm -hmm. uh, our most historical estate is called Castiglioni. Yeah. And it's、uh, in our family since the year 1100.、Okay. Um, then there are、uh, some estates that they arrived in my family、uh, around 1800. And、mm -hmm. one, some of them are quite famous. One is called Nipozzano and、yeah. Pomino,、uh, and more recently,、uh, Castelgio Condo in Brunello di Montalcino,、mm -hmm. and、um, <clears throat> Ammiraglia in the southern part of Tuscany. Okay.、Uh, but I also have to mention other very important、mm -hmm. estate for us.、Uh, one is、uh, Luce. Yeah. That is、uh, is an estate in Montalcino、mm -hmm. that was、uh, developed with the family Mondavi from America.、Uh, then in 2002,、mm -hmm. uh, the first acquisition in Bulgaria,、mm -hmm. the estate of Ornellaia and Masseto,、uh, that is、uh, an icon、uh, winery. And lastly. Uh, the estate of Perano in Chianti Classico. Okay. And why so many different estates?、Mm -hmm. Because the land of Tuscany is very variegated,、mm -hmm. and each place is able to express different、uh, 
wines, mm -hmm. uh, different identity in the wines, and this is very, very important. Uh, I, uh, in my family, we strongly believe that uh, good wines are the reflection of the location and the identity of the location. So there will never be uh, one wine uh, similar to another. Each of them, they will going to be uh, different and unique at the same time. Okay. Then there are uh, some projects that I would mm -hmm. like to mention that they are quite important for, mm -hmm. for, for us. One is, uh, is called Artisti per Frescobaldi, and this is followed by my uh, cousin, mm -hmm. that uh, is done with the idea, uh, uh, with the desire of uh, helping young artists to, uh, to develop their, their, their art, so we support them uh, economically, mm -hmm. uh, and we do a project with them at the state of Castagiocondo. And they have to do a, a, some art uh, where they will interpret mm -hmm. the lands uh, and the vineyards and the wines of Castagiocondo. Okay. Then uh, also another project that we like a lot is a restaurant project. We mm -hmm. have a number of restaurants. This is my my sister Diana that she is following those restaurants in one in England, in Florence, mm -hmm. and in Zurich, where we have the opportunity to speak directly to the consumer, mm -hmm. and this is something very important for us because so we can actually understand the desire, the direct desire of mm -hmm. the consumer itself. Yeah. Then, uh, you know, when uh, you have a good business and things are going well, you have also to think that, uh, uh, yes, you've been working hard, mm -hmm. but also you've been lucky. Yeah. Because uh, luck uh, helps things uh, to work better. And um, so that means that you have to give back to life uh, mm -hmm. uh, some of your luck. Yeah. And um, so in 20, 2012, uh, we began a project in a prison that mm -hmm. is placed in an island. Yeah. And this prison is called Gorgona, where we do a lovely white wine there. Mm -hmm. The idea of working in a prison mm -hmm. is to uh, give uh, to the inmates, the prisoners, Mm -hmm. a second opportunity of life because uh, the people that are in jail one day they will leave the jail so mm -hmm. if they have learned a job mm -hmm. if they have learned the pleasure of working mm -hmm. and being paid for mm -hmm. what they're doing they will most probably uh, don't do a crime again and actually work back in the community in the society uh, so it's uh, the project Gorgona is a project that uh, has been uh, having a good uh, success around the world because uh, all of us uh, have uh, always need to keep in mind uh, that uh, um, we also have to share uh, our success, our lack on having the success with other people that they have not been as lucky as us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm, let me talk uh, just a little bit more about Luce, because Luce mm -hmm. is a very uh, important project uh, for, for me personally and for my, life, um, for my family, mm -hmm. because uh, every uh, wine producer often is very... Um, is very linked to what he's doing and, uh, and sh difficultly, very rarely, uh, he wants to share his knowledge with other people. And uh, um, so uh, when in 1995 mm -hmm. we began uh, the project Luce uh, with the family Mondavi from America in uh, Italy, in Tuscany, uh, this project was very innovative because uh, uh, we were sharing our know-how mm -hmm. with their, their know-how to produce a unique wine in, uh, in Tuscany 
precisely in the area of Montalcino. Mm -hmm. The first thing we did together with, uh, with the Mondavis was to put uh, the wine together, to create the wine. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and we created playing with two varieties, mm -hmm. the Merlot and the Sangiovese. We, plan, we blended these two varieties, we aged it in, in, uh, in new French oak, Mm -hmm. And uh, we did uh, our first harvest uh, was with some grapes and wines that we already had in a cellar it was 1993. Then we did 1994, and uh, uh, then 1995. And after doing three uh, vintages on the row, then we started thinking about the name. Okay. It was. Uh, a very cloudy uh, day uh, with rain. Uh, then we were together with the wife of Mr. Mondavi. Mm -hmm. uh, she was called Margaret mm -hmm. Mondavi. And um, um, from the clouds, the clouds opened up and there was a, a light, a beam of light that came mm -hmm. through the clouds. And she said, Luce, we should call this wine Luce, that is the light that comes uh, from the sky, and uh, and Lucia was okay. And uh, so we we had the wine before, then we had the name, mm -hmm. and then we had to put together the uh, the label, so the logo, and um, and it was uh, my uncle that uh, okay. once when he was in church he, he looked at our church, Santo Spirito, mm -hmm. with, uh, with different attention, and he saw this beautiful sun yeah. in the, on the altar of the church, and, um, and it was uh, used to, uh, to, uh, as a sign of, of the bottle. And uh, so, uh, at the end, we went back, to uh, one of the symbol of my family heritage. So uh, the sun was uh, selected and was put in on this label mm -hmm. uh, because uh, the sun and the light uh, means a reunification. It means that two people that they get together mm -hmm. and they try to do something unique, something special, mm -hmm. as this wine is. Uh, and uh, after a few years, we actually did also a second wine called Lucente. Mm -hmm. um, and, and then after a few years, again, the Brunello di Luce. Uh, all of these wines uh, are located in Montalcino. That is this beautiful, absolutely terrific uh, spot of uh, Tuscany that is very famous for the production of a important red wine called Brunello di Montalcino. So <clears throat> you can see that the family uh, has always tried to, uh, to be upfront and look at the future. Mm -hmm. So not only tradition. Tradition is important, yeah. but if it's even more important, I believe, uh, what you do tomorrow and the day after tomorrow and the next days. So the future is very important. Uh, we look at the past uh, that gives you the direction, mm -hmm. but the future is in our hand and we have to build the, our future with respect, uh, with ethic, uh, with a uh, hard job and uh, uh, with uh, yet the pleasure of creating a, a new venture. <clears throat> and uh, said this, I uh, I also like to mention our um, more uh, recent estate project mm -hmm. as Frescobaldi mm -hmm. because uh, mm, also within the, the Frescobaldi we have to be mm -hmm. uh, innovative. So we are uh, moving up uh, to Pomino where we have a new project that is called Leonia mm -hmm. where we do a, um, a sparkling uh, method, uh, classic method in Pomino made with Chardonnay and Pinot Noir that is um, 
that is tradition, but at the same time is innovation. Okay, so, uh, so it's a parking made uh, with traditional method. Traditional okay. method. And uh, uh, then uh, also in Nipozzano, mm -hmm. a, a, in a state of the tradition, uh, we have uh, this uh, important uh, red wine made mainly with Cabernet Sauvignon, that is the Mormoreto, mm -hmm. that is again tradition, but at the same time innovation. And this wine is something that we uh, really care a lot for this wine because we uh, believe that is a wine that is combines uh, 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 international varieties, mm -hmm. but uh, also traditional winemaking, and we really. Um, uh, are caring a lot for this wine. So when a, uh, a consumer, a wine lover, uh, approaches uh, Frescobaldi, uh, I think he will never be uh, bored. Yeah, he, will, uh, he will uh, find uh, different uh, uh, wines, different uh, tastes, uh, different stories uh, uh, within uh, the, our estates. And um, so we can really do a trip uh, through uh, history, through centuries, uh, to the future, uh, with uh, different taste, different identity, uh, and um, and uh, and also ethical like Gorgona, uh, innovation like uh, Luce, um, uh, and uh, and so a a very interesting, fun trip through the world of wine. I have always uh, have uh, had the, the, the passion of, uh, of producing wines. And um, so one of also the wines I really uh, care of uh, is uh, the Brunello di Montalcino. Mm -hmm. uh, Brunello di Montalcino is uh, where we have this uh, estate called Castel Giocondo. Yeah. And uh, Castel Giocondo is probably one of the most uh, beautiful estates in Montalcino, facing south, mm -hmm. um, with uh, <clears throat> lovely expositions, lovely climate, where uh, we uh, produce wines that uh, have uh, um, intensity, finesse, mm -hmm. elegance, uh, and ability to age. Okay. Every uh, of our state, we are uh, we have an hospitality, so we we have uh, we can uh, have a guest come and visit the place. We we show them the cellar. We we have uh, private tastings. Mm -hmm. uh, we have also private uh, specific menus. Uh, all a link uh, to the the place where. Uh, where we are, we also raise our own uh, cows and chickens, and uh, so to give to our guests a very unique experience. Okay. And they also, our guests can also decide if they want to mm -hmm. uh, sleep uh, and oh. pass the night to mm -hmm. our states, where uh, we have uh, now organized. Uh, uh, nice uh, private uh, homes mm -hmm. uh, with, uh, with I think, uh, very sophisticated uh, uh, rooms, mm -hmm. so where they people can experience the whole uh, theme of staying in a country side uh, wine location. Because <clears throat> when you produce a great wine, I think you also have to give to your uh, guests, to your clients, uh, the atmosphere mm -hmm. of, uh, of the place and tell them that uh, you do not only care to produce a great wine, but you also care for the environment mm -hmm. and for what is all, uh, all around you. So the care of the environment um, means that you will be able to produce even a better identity wine. We have to be uh, very careful on preserving mm -hmm. the environment, preserving energy, preserving 
the beauty uh, around us. Uh, And uh, a wine uh, lover, a wine connoisseur, uh, knows very well that uh, when he goes to visit uh, a a winery, uh, usually a winery is is in a beautiful surrounding. So quality and beautiness, they go tightly together. So it's not enough to produce a good wine. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's important also to care of the environment. Okay. Um, this, all of us have to do this because uh, uh, we have to leave to the future generations yeah. uh, the resources and uh, a, 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 the best environment possible to have their kids uh, enjoy uh, this world. Yeah. So we are cultivating our vineyards in the organic way. Mm-hmm. So we are not using uh, we are not using chemicals, uh, but we are using all only natural uh, remedies on the vineyards, and also how we fertilize our vineyards is only with uh, natural mature uh, manure. And um, and this is uh, also has has given us the opportunity to to produce also even a better identity, better quality wine. The most uh, le- relevant uh, variety within our vineyards uh, is uh, Sangiovese. That is a variety uh, very delicate uh, and that is able to transmit very well the location where it is, uh, through the quality that is able to express. And, uh, and then, uh, of course, we also have other varieties like Merlot, Cabernet, uh, Chardonnay, all of them always thought and suited to the location where they have been planted. So, uh, well, thank you for sharing so many stories about Fresco Buddy. Um, I want to listen to more, but uh, due to the time limit, so we uh, have to stop here. And uh, we welcome you to come to our live streaming again later uh, in the future. So uh, thank, you thank you very much. You, thank you very much. Thank you very much, and uh, has been a great pleasure for me. I um, I have not yet. Uh, uh, learn your beautiful language because it's difficult, but I try to do, I try to say something, and ex- excuse my I, I believe my, you can my my accent. Uh, so Hanjo, Shutie, We, Dong We, Si Wang. That's that's nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you to you. 非常感谢各位观众朋友观看我们本期的节目，我们的这期节目到这里就要结束了，大家下期节目再见。